Good morning, everybody. We are at day nine of COVID-19 quarantine. Having a little bit of my sparkling ice crisp apple. I do enjoy that. I know it's not the best thing for me with my keto. It does have artificial sweetener in it, but sometimes you just have to do it. I'm gonna make some coffee. It is 7.20. I don't need to be at my desk until eight, but um, my whole, basically, 90% of the bank that I work for, and it's a pretty large company, is working from home. And we're all dialing in on servers. It's working, it's working fine actually. Took a few days just to get my bearings. And at work I have two monitors and my laptop screen to work on. From here, I hooked up my TV in my craft room as a monitor and then my laptop. And if you're working from home, here's a fun little thing. All you need, if you have a newer laptop and TV, that's the caveat, has to have an HDMI plug on both. I plugged in the HDMI onto my, um, I'm feeding the cats too, HDMI onto my laptop. Then I plugged it into my TV. There's a few settings that you can tweak. And my laptop is one monitor and my TV is a second monitor. And if you do a lot of computer working from home, that helps immensely um, for me. I use a lot of systems when I'm working. You know, there's a lot of programs that we're in at the same time. So just a little, hopefully that helps. We're gonna have some English toffee sweet drops this morning in our coffee. Hi, Alex. They want their food, I just am not giving it to them yet. No other reason that I'm talking to you. And Wellington gets fed in a different room. This is a frother. It's a Bodum. I got it at Target for like $7. But it froths up. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to show you. It froths it up, almost like a cappuccino or a steamed milk, but it's cold, so it's just frothing. Delicious. It just makes my coffee a little something, something in the morning, a little better, a little special, I guess. I don't know if I'll be able to show you the frothiness, but I can show you when the coffee is done. And then I do a little stir. So basically I've sweetened the cream And then I'll make my coffee. I'm gonna have all my cups out. Girl, I'm a mess. Guys, girls, whoever's watching, I'm a mess today. Um, oh, so what I was saying is I have to log on to my laptop early or um, I'm late. It doesn't get logged in. The phone takes a while to log in. So there's that. I got these straws. They're metal, which I'm not a fan of because I don't like the touchiness, but this one comes with a rubber. And I'll show you. I got them on Amazon. They were sent to me. Oh, where'd it go? They were sent to me for free. Yes, I don't match. Um, so they collapse. It comes with a telescoping little cleaner brush that fits right inside of it to help you keep it clean. And then they have little cases that they go and These are really awesome, especially for travel. If you're into like, you know, bringing your own straw. And then this just screws on. And the other fun thing they came with, I, I think it came with four, yeah, is a matching carabiner. So you can hang this on your backpack or on your bag or wherever. And then you always have a traveling straw with you. Now, I have a funny little thing. Most of my cups, I don't hold a large, but not a large and a small. So I just brew a second into that and pour it on top. 
um, my cream. So how are you guys holding up? Is everybody doing okay at home? You staying safe? Keeping your distance? I think that's what's going to keep us all healthy. I will say, I see these YouTube videos, and I'm not judgy and trying to be mean, but I think it's irresponsible to be out Dollar Tree shopping, at stores, when we're supposed to be staying home. It's kind of encouraging folks to go out, which is why I haven't done any hauls. Because I don't think it's right, so I'm not going to do it. Whatever everybody else does, that's fine. But I would like this to be over as soon as possible. And I think the best way to do that is to stay home and not be out shopping frivolously. If you need to go to the store, you need to go to the store. Like, I'm running low on this cat food. So I may have to run out. Now, I bought out Wellington. My Wellington, oh man, I know that I got a comment and I need to respond to it. He hasn't been feeling good. He's feeling better now. He has asthma and it's food induced. We have figured out that, that it's preservatives or something in food that triggers it. I bought another food because he's not, he doesn't love the stuff that I have, which is the Purina and Beyond. Um, and it's all natural. He doesn't like it. He barely eats it. So it was making me nervous because he's not eating it. So I bought some Purina stomach and skin and it seemed to have been working. He was loving it. He was eating it. And then all of a sudden he's throwing it up everywhere all the time, every time he eats. And that triggers his asthma. So for the last week or so, two weeks, he hasn't been feeling great. Um, I was getting ready to make a vet appointment, but with all this, it's He's okay, so I'm going to wait. His fur is good. He's drinking. He'll eat all the treats I give him. So, typically, he's a cutlet cat. He wants these cutlets, the chunky meat. All of a sudden, he won't eat that. So, now I bought some pate. He's eating that. I put a few treats in it. He seems to be eating it. I give him a little bit in the morning, a little bit at night. Because he also, with his digestive issues, he cannot eat a lot at one time or he'll just throw it right back up. So, and that could be what was going on with the other food that he liked so well, is that he was eating too much too fast and just throwing it up. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a vet. But he's acting good now. He's alert. He's, I mean, he's always been alert. But he's, you know, running around the house doing his cat thing. And I will get him in as soon as this is over for a checkup and some blood work. And I wanted to check his teeth just to make sure, but... I don't know. So this is what my coffee looks like when you froth it. It's got like a foam on top. Oh, it's so good. Foam on top. And sometimes if I'm extra fancy, I'll sprinkle a little um, cinnamon on top. But that's it this morning. Come here, Alex. You hungry? This cat is always hungry. Alex, breakfast. There's one way to get them. Hi, Dove. You hungry too? Hi, Alex. Y'all want your breakfast? Yeah? You want it? Come here, Dove. All right. Feb Alex. I'm going to go feed Wellington and then I'm going to get to work. Have a good one. Hi guys, I stopped at the post office and oh, I got this fun package. Look at that card from Rosemary at You Rock Art. You definitely want to check out her channel if you don't. And she sent me this fun, I think this, I'm not sure there's a name for it and I can't remember what it's called. Oh, it's like um, all these little doodads. Look at them. I love the eggs and the glitter. Look at that. This just makes me so happy. I need to learn how to do these. And then you hang it. Guys, isn't that adorable? That just brings joy. Joy to my life. And that. Just some crafty bits. Oh, how kind of her. Thank you so much. And a guitar pick, which is awesome. Oh, look. And then this little goodie bag with some pins and some stickers. <laughs> I dropped it. I got it. It's a bookmark. I have to get it when I get out of the car. I will get that when I get out of the car. And 
it. A little envelope that had it, some stickers, ephemera. Guys, this is awesome. I need to learn how to do this. Look at that. And it all gets to, oh. And some little cupcake picks. These are gonna be so fun. We're gonna do some crafty bits, guys. I need to get this, hold on. I found it. I got it. Look at this. It's a bookmark. Isn't that awesome? Oh my gosh, and I think, I hope she stamped on it. If not, look at it. And I am an avid reader. I just got a new book in the mail today. Oh, I need to send her something back. I'm gonna put a package together. Rosemary, thank you so much. I'm gonna put a package together and send it to you. I can't wait. And I know there's a name for this. I just can't think of it off the top of my head, but this is adorable. Oh, I'm so excited. I love, look at those tiny little eggs. Guys, this is so fun. And look at all the details. That just brightened my day. It's lunchtime at my job. I mean, I'm working. Just working from home. It's not bad. I did just dust behind my washer and dryer, so I'm getting all kinds of great stuff done. But as I said, I got a um, book in the mail, and I will show you. I can't wait. All right, back to work. Good morning, everybody. We are gonna make a different kind of chaffle. Sorry, the microwave's going in the background. I'm heating up a coffee. So we're gonna make a different kind of chaffle. We're using cream cheese instead of cheddar or mozzarella. And I did get this recipe from Nicole Burgess. I think it's been circulating around, but she calls it her French toast chaffle. Now I have, which I need to order some more, silver cloud maple syrup extract. If you want to make this keto, you want extract. And I'm putting in just a couple of droppers. It doesn't come with the dropper, so I need to wash that. But this is pretty clean and it's pretty good. So maple sugar extract, two ounces of cream cheese ish. Now my eggs. You want to use room temperature eggs because if they're in room temperature cream cheese, so it blends. And my eggs weren't room temperature, so I stuck them in this little bowl with hot water just for a couple minutes, and it will bring these eggs to room temperature lickety split. Then I'm just taking them out. I'll dry off my eggs just so they don't get extra water in our mixture here. Now, if you have a food processor, that works too. A blender. Um a Nutribullet, anything like that. I don't, so I'm using my immersion blender. So we have the flavoring. We have, I'm gonna do a little vanilla in mine. She does not, but I like vanilla in pretty much everything. So I'm just gonna do a couple drops of vanilla and the maple syrup. This is gonna make it taste like French toast. Then after I have breakfast, and it is 10.45, but I worked this morning, so I'm doing this now. This is my Lakanto Monk Fruit Sweetener. They have it in a gold. I don't have the gold. I just have the regular, but you want one tablespoon of that, and I just keep this in my fridge. I also have um, other flavors of these, so you don't have to do maple. I've got caramel. I have coconut, I have all kinds. I just like this brand. And then you want some um, cinnamon, and it's just to your preference. I like cinnamon. And then I will not make you listen to this, but this is my immersion blender, and this is just comes in here. <laughs>
All right. That part is done. I might have to get a new one of these. I use this fairly regularly because I don't have a blender. It's just hard to use a blender for one. So we did all that. Everything has been cooked and done. It's fairly watery. Let me plug this in. Get that, your little um, waffle maker. Now, any waffle maker will work. I happen to have this Dash brand. I know it's broken. I need to get a new one. I use it a lot. Um, it, I got this at Bed Bath & Beyond, but I know they have it at Kohl's. I know they have them on Amazon. They're great for single living, single serving. Now, for my topping, since I'm not going to use syrup, I don't do sugar-free syrup. If you do, that's, you know, you, that's fine. Whatever you have, I don't. This is butter, cinnamon, sugar, and some of that maple syrup. And when it comes out, I'll just smear some of this on it while they're hot. And that will melt in and become my um, syrup. I'm going to play it out. Now, I want you to watch this proportioning here, guys. You do not want to overfill this. That's why I put a second cutting board down. It will bleh up and over. So this is pretty water. Let me get it this way so you can see what I'm doing. It's pretty thin, which is what you want. And you're just going to fill in the bottom, just like we did with the other ones. And then you shut it. And you let it go. Now, we'll see how many I get out of this batch. I don't really know. It will depend on the size of your waffle maker. If you have a bigger waffle maker, that's fine too. You can do four at a time. doesn't matter. While this is cooking, I'm going to have breakfast, finish my coffee, and then we're getting ready to do this kitchen. I'm going to take everything off the counters, store them away, and then I'm taking all the cabinets off. We're going to paint today. I'm taking the drawers out. I'm taking the cabinet hardware off. I'm taking the cabinet doors off. Everything is coming off and getting a good scrubbing, and then we're going to paint these cabinets white, and I am so excited for that. I've been wanting to do this for a year and you know what? I have the time now, so why not do it? You know, but this is a good keto breakfast, low carb. It doesn't have to be keto. It's low carb. Or if you don't have any bread, apparently I'm not allowed to say what's going on in the world or I will not get my videos will not be monetized. YouTube doesn't want you to say the word, so I won't say it. Um, or I guess the advertisers don't want to hear it. Um, anyway, while I'm cleaning out my cabinetry, I will also be organizing a little bit too. Just put ingredients away. Now I won't eat all of these that come out. I just want to show you. Well, I'm going to go a little longer. And I don't know how long they cook. Cheese, the cheesy ones cook for a while. That's why I'm trying to give you like real time cooking here. I think I want to order another one of those because I'm nervous if this one dies on me. I, my life depends on this. They also have grill ones, griddles, which I think I would like the griddle. And then I think they have all different ones. All right. So that looks done, right? They're thin, kind of floppy like a French toast. So we'll just let it sit here. And then while it's, let me put another one on and then I'll put some butter on that. Oh, sorry. But again, you don't want to overflow this because if you do, you're going to have a mess on your hands. Ooh, like I just did. Dang it. Well, let's hope for the best, guys. And then I'm just taking on a little spatula a little bit of this butter. Because I don't have syrup, I'm going to have melted butter in all the little nooks and crannies. And there we go. Should I taste it? Oh, let's taste it. They're very thin, which is good. Mmm, guys. That is delicious. It's very light and fluffy. I may add a little more sweetener the next time. Oh, 
that is good or maybe some liquid sweetener but it's delicious mm-hmm mm-hmm mm -hmm. that's good I bet y'all get five chocolates out of here but we'll see so I hope you enjoy and you're having your coffee uh, my kitchen painting out a little bit of the cleaning process but I'm gonna do a whole video of just how I did my cabinets because I think folks would be interested in that so for now I'm gonna have some breakfast all right guys this is coat number three of the white I'm loving it but as you can see it's gonna need one to two more coats to fully cover which is what I want Look at it up against the black. Don't mind my mess, but it's just a disaster in here for right now because paint. So yeah, this is it. Um, I think you can get a better view over here of it's just taking a lot of coats to cover. If I need to, I'll order some more of this paint, which is, oops, sorry, right here. And that's I'm about halfway. And I've, like I've said, on the kitchen I've done, this is my third coat, and I've done three or four coats on the um, drawers. I haven't started the cabinet doors yet, but this is just white. I can always, I think one of my hardware stores has it too, so I can run and grab another one. That bottle shipped with the cleaner was like $36. So I'm going to get all of my kitchen done under $100. And you can't beat that. And then I'm painting the walls gray, but that'll be a later project. All right, back to painting. Oh, goodness gracious, guys. This is what I'm going to go to bed tonight with my house looking like a disaster. I have to order more paint, so it's going to be a disaster for some time. But I was able to get, I will get this one done, this one done, that one done. Hopefully this door painted, although this side needs another coat. And then the other three need one or two more coats on the front. Um, but, and then all the stuff, my house. I will tell you I'm loving the white cabinets. And I am so glad I made this decision. The only thing I would have done different is bought the primer. Although there was question if I needed primer to go from light oak to white. And I'm here to tell you, yes, you do. I know I have a sink full of dishes because I can't get to my dishwasher. Um, this paint has to cure for 24 to 48 hours. At least that's what I'm doing. Um, before I put the drawer pulls on and put the doors up. The doors have to dry for a couple days. So it's going to be a slow process. But when it's done, I'm going to be happy. All right, guys, that's the end of today's vlog. I will talk with y'all later. Bye.